Good afternoon, YouTube. Well, uh, we got our uh, aftermarket Assassin's uh, S3 clutch kit in. And so we're going to go ahead. Our, uh, we also got our butter shift washers and the uh, clutch limiter, which we already had. Uh, let's go ahead and give that one to our friend uh, that else is running the uh, Pro XP. The Helix, two springs, and we already have the uh, clutch plate cover on there, so uh, we'll go ahead and just reuse that. Uh, we're only we run on stage two, stage three. Eventually, when we run a stage four, we'll place the uh, front, which is the HD primary. We're gonna go ahead and uh, pull these off, and then uh, get them back together. Uh, put them back together with the new parts up here. Got our little clutch tool there that we'll go ahead and use uh, to help uh, compress these springs uh, a bit. So we'll go ahead and uh, get those pieces off here and then we'll get some uh, follow-up footage. Just going to go ahead and pull off the uh, secondary here. Um, and then uh, uh, we're going to test this when we're done here. Right now this doesn't move. Uh, at all when it's an idle. Uh, so it's perfectly still like that. So we'll see if it needs adjustments after uh, we do do this install, if I have to reshim it at all. Um, we'll go ahead and take off this, uh, this nut here. Just careful when you take it off that uh, you don't lose any of the shims that are in here. Yep, they are just little teeny Teeny, teeny, thin, thin washers. And then you just spin it and it uh, comes right off. Try to leave the back one on there. There we go. Yep. Just make sure no uh, additional washers fall out of there. Yep, there's no more in there. And you can see the rollers on the back side. Then we'll go ahead and take the belt off. Always take special note of the direction that the belt rolls that goes on. And we'll go ahead and pull the uh, other half of the secondary off here. Looks pretty clean behind there. We've been uh, doing our due diligence and uh, blowing the housing out um, almost after every ride because we've got a little get a little bit of dust and a little bit of belt dust in there. So there's the stock. All right, the secondary is removed. Go ahead and remove the primary now. This one's always fun. Um, I believe this is a T60 bit. Just make sure. Yep. And go ahead and just uh, put this in here. We're going to take this off. And just keep in mind that uh, there's a black uh, tube in here that has a couple washers on it. Uh, one of them is our uh, limit washer for the clutch, and the other is a, uh, a conical uh, washer that they have in there. You don't want to lose any of those, so if you do see them fall out, I'll show you where they go back in. This could be a bit tricky sometimes. Um, just kind of give it a little pull, see if it comes off. Some, most of the time they don't, so you got to just kind of work with it to get it on to get it off. Yeah, we'll come back to it. Okay, if you're having a hard time getting the primary off, as they instruct with the push and pull, um, you can actually pull the center piece out uh, once once. You 
push and pull on it and then once this piece comes out you can grab it it's got a conical washer on it and then i have the limit washer behind that so just kind of hold your hand under here and pull it out and that should drop in your hands there's a little o-ring on here uh, that makes it a little difficult for it to come straight out right away but once you get that out uh, you should be golden all right for the instructions here after these after this uh center piece is the bolt is removed and the center black is removed uh, go ahead and just uh, take off uh, these bolts the the cover plate let's go ahead and just do every other one yep and right last one. let's make sure you put pressure on it there you go. And it comes off just like that. Go ahead and retain the, uh, the six bolts and the spring, like so. All right, then we'll go ahead and uh, thread the puller in. And we'll see if we can do this without grease to begin with. Sometimes they recommend if it's having more difficulty to put grease on the front of the puller. There we go, just like that. So we'll go ahead and uh, back the puller tool back out. And we'll pull the primary off. Be careful with the, uh, the spider helix that uh, you don't damage that. As you can see, we have the, uh, the primary, the other half of the primary. And these two were stuck together when we brought them out. So you just basically set it this way down and just keep picking up on this pop, pop, and then it comes right off of this piece. Yeah, so we'll go ahead and uh, start work here. Uh, let's go ahead and we'll do the secondary first uh, and get the, uh, the new spring on here. We have our uh, other tool here that we're going to use. So we'll go ahead and move the, the primary aside so we can work on the secondary. All right, so we're going to go ahead and uh, remove the helix out of the secondary here. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our tool and drop it through here. And this tool was one purchased from uh, Aftermarket Assassins. This is a three quarter inch uh, nut. I actually preferred theirs with the handles on it, but uh, we'll have to go ahead and weld uh, one of those on eventually all right we use our uh, impact and low bolts out we'll go ahead and uh, loosen the helix loosen this up and we'll go ahead and uh, take the secondary apart and we have uh, we will retain this piece uh, we'll go back on the new one factory spring we we'll set that aside And the factory helix. There it is, factory helix. And just so you know, the factory helix is not uh, smooth in here. You can kind of see how it's uh, grooved and chiseled uh, in here as well. And then there's a, if you run your finger over it, there's a slight ridge, a peak here, and then it goes back. Uh, so I had mine from aftermarket assassins and i thought the same thing um not smooth in there and then there's a peak ridge here small line peak ridge but uh it's the same as the uh the stock primary so all right and we're going to take our our aftermarket assassins helix as you can see here this is the uh 
uh, the original stock helix spring. And this was the primary spring uh, for the front. Very, uh, yeah, so that was the primary. And this was the secondary. And here's the new secondary. Much stiffer. And the new primary. The new primary is a shorter spring, but it's a, a stiffer uh, spring rate. Okay, so we'll go ahead and drop the uh, butter shifter, butter shift washers in, both of them, just like so. And the uh, secondary spring. All right, and we're going to go ahead and kind of just eyeball and line this up, drop our cap back on. We're going to kind of eyeball line this up. Put our washer back on. And our, com our uh, three quarter inch nut, and we'll start to compress it again. All right, and then we just continue uh, cranking down on the uh, the compression tool. All right, we just had a problem with uh, the bolt spinning while we were trying to place it in there. Uh, I know Aftermarket Assassin's video, they have a big plate uh, welded onto the bottom of this rod. Um, so it makes it a little bit easier, but uh, uh, we just chucked the, the nut up on the other side and that stopped the bolt from spinning and you can as you can see it's uh, compressing again all right we went ahead and got it uh, pretty close I see there's about a quarter inch gap between it seating properly in there so what we'll do is uh, go ahead and get a little bit of thread locker And get a little bit of th uh, thread locker on there. All right, and we'll go ahead and tighten these down. All right, now that we have the uh, three bolts fastened on the back, go ahead and take the tool off. And we can go ahead and uh, torque these down. And we just unload. All right, there we go. The new Helix is in with the butter shift washers. Clean up this one a little bit with the Scotch Brite pad. All right, so the secondary is done and we'll go ahead and set this aside and put it back on in a few minutes. We'll go ahead and uh, take out the spider. Uh, we notice there's an X here on this side. I assume there's a corresponding X below it. So you make sure it goes back on the same way. And when you are pulling it off, uh, just like per aftermarket assassins, you wanna watch out for these little buttons um, that are in here, these little black buttons and make sure that you don't uh, lose any of them. This clutch is fairly new. There's only 116 miles on it, so uh, very new clutch uh, when you consider uh, everything. Uh, not bad. There's rollers in there. Rollers look good. Got a lot of grease in here, it looks like. Uh, here's our, uh, our little uh, our weighted uh, finger heat, or whatever these things are called in here. All right, we went ahead and removed the, uh, the last one. 
and the battery died on the GoPro here, so just to make sure you heard. Uh, one of these nuts was uh, it was extremely loose on it, uh, so um, actually a good thing maybe I checked it. It might have fallen out eventually, but uh, uh, we went ahead and uh, removed all three of the weights and the bolts and the nuts. And uh, you did see earlier, uh, there's the X in the bottom there. That corresponds with that X there. So when you do put it back together, make sure the X's are on the, the correct uh, orientation. Level three tune, which I think we're gonna go ahead and start off with the level three tune, is one, two, two. So one in here, two in here, two in here. So the difference is the middle one we would need to take one out of if we wanna go back and forth to, from a level two to a level three. One, two, two, and it needs to be the same on all of them. So one in and slide it out. And then mark off uh, two here and two in, slide it out, block it off so it doesn't pull one of them back out. And then another two, like so. Then I'll just uh, tap them in so they stick to the back and you can see they're stuck in the back there. And we'll do a one, two, two on the last one. And our X is still at the top here. Go ahead and lower this back into place. And she drops right back in. And our new primary spring. Pitch bolt. There's the limit washer and then the conical washer uh, that faces uh, that direction. Go ahead and uh, do and place that back in there. Drop this back over that. And this one has no uh, uh, X marks the spot on it. Uh, this uh, clutch covered with tower locks. Go ahead and line the bolts up. You should be able to get that out quite a little bit easier now that the uh, spring is not so tall. So. All right, here you have it. Here is the secondary scotch brighted new spring, new helix. Here's the primary, new spring, new weights, scotch brighted, got my tower lock on, my limit washer, my butter shifters. So let's go ahead and uh, get this placed back in to the machine. We went in and blew out the clutch housing, made sure it was nice and clean in here. So we'll go ahead and uh, start piecing it back together. Go ahead and uh, start with the primary. Putting a primary on. It's kind of uh, just making sure it's centered up and that the, the splines or gears get engaged. Okay, we went ahead and grab our center bolt. I'm going to get this in. 140 foot pounds is the uh, that's the bottom I think is easiest to get on first. Yeah, the bottom. 
Okay. And the belt is on the correct way, so points for us. And get the helix on the correct way as well. Verify you have all your shims still intact on the bolt. Tuck them up in there. definitely will have to shim uh, so we'll uh, take a picture with our camera and see which way it needs to go and add washers or subtract washers uh, uh, depending on such all right we went ahead and uh, removed three spacer washers uh, from our secondary and uh, we'll go ahead and see if uh, she spins now uh, when we start her up. All right, that looked pretty good. Uh, barely had any spin. Um, now there are two of the uh, Teflon butter shift washers in the secondary. Um, so what we'll s watch and see is if we get any more uh, spinning with that secondary. Uh, we'll take it out and drive it here and let everything kind of settle. Um, and if it's still spinning barely, because uh, we removed all of the uh, uh, the washers out, the shims out of the secondary. So there are no shims in it right now. If it still has a uh, tendency to spin a little bit, we may inquire to aftermarket assassins about uh, removing one of those butter shift washers because there were two that were placed and stacked on top of each other and see what allowing uh, just one of them if it's possible to do that because that'll give us the uh, proper uh, uh, spacing there if it's still spinning a little bit because we had to come back the other way with it. So uh, we'll go ahead and load, load the uh, stage three tune up and uh, We'll do our uh, 8200 to 8400 RPM test and uh, see exactly uh, where we're at. I'm going to go ahead and load our uh, stage 3 tune. All right, flash complete. Verify will turn it off. And we are currently on the level three, and we'll check our current tune, and it looks like we're currently on the level three tune. So we'll go ahead and the exclamation point is now gone. Go ahead and fire it up. Ran that test run with the uh, the current weight setup that we have, which was one two two, 
And uh, got to say, man, that, uh, <laughs> that thing gets up and goes. Uh, no belt slippage. It just grips and goes the whole, the whole time. So uh, we'll go ahead and run this. Uh, the RPMs looked uh, spec to us, 82, 8400 in the uh, 55 mile an hour uh, zone. So we'll go ahead and run that. And uh, next time we take it out and we'll see how it does. I'd like to thank everyone for watching and please don't forget to subscribe.